Okay, this video is on writing inequalities with variables on both sides. And this is the word problems that come out. And this is really truly in the real world where you're going to use algebra and making considerations for what is a better buy given different um, things that you have to consider. So um, let's start with just looking at some terminology. Five less than four times a number, so four x, five less than that, and is greater than three times the number minus two. So that just gives you an idea of what it would look like whenever you're writing an inequality from this. This isn't a real world problem yet. Um, same thing, the sum of four times a number and seven, so that's the addition, is less than or equal to twice the number minus three. So you've got to really watch what is less than and what is greater than and if they're equal to. So let's look at a real life example. A home cleaning company charges $312 to power wash the siding of a house plus $12. And so this is home cleaning. And we need to label these so that we understand what we're comparing. So $312 um, plus $12 each window. I'm just using X for window. You could use W for window. Um, power Clean charges $36 per window. Okay? And it says, and the price includes power washing the siding. So that's $312 is included in this price. How many windows must a house have to make the total cost for the home cleaning company, this one, less expensive than the power clean? Because if you have a ton of windows, this is going to be less expensive um, because this, these are less expensive windows. So let's. this is less than total cost of the home cleaning is less expensive. So I'm going to subtract 12x from both sides, and I'm going to get 312 is less than 24x. And just because I don't feel like doing all the division, um, 312 divide by 24, divide by 24, x is greater than 13. So, if you had more than 13 windows, then this company is going to be less expensive. That's what that's saying. So, let's look at another one. And we've got a yellow hot air balloon, so yellow. And it's 100 feet off the ground and rising at 8 feet per second. So, and rising at 8 feet per second. X is, X is seconds. Okay. And then we've got an orange hot air balloon that's 160 feet off the ground and rising at a rate of 5 feet per second. And we've got 108. And after how long will the yellow balloon, the yellow balloon, be higher than the orange balloon? So I want this to be higher. So let's start solving for our problems. Let's get rid of some X's first. And I'm going to get 100 plus 3X is less than 160. And then I'm going to subtract 100 from both sides. And I'm going to get 3x is greater than 60. And then I have to divide by 3 and divide by 3. So x is greater than 20. So at 20 feet, the yellow one is going to get bigger than the orange one. So 
in your Google form, there's a couple of questions. Um, it gives the, the, uh, the inequality, and you pick the, um, the word problem that would go with that inequality. This will be in your, word, in your Google form, and this one also. So take a look at those, and you're not even solving those, you're just setting them up.